Hey, what's up, guys? So up next, we're going to do 46 equals 13. This is going to be part two. Because the first time, I didn't know what the song was actually about. This time I do. Now I added an explanation at the end of the first video. But most people didn't watch far enough to see that. So this is my explanation right here. 46 means the 46th president. And apparently there were 13 people that died because of him. So, that's what it means. I understand that now. But I left my original reaction as it was to be authentic. To show you guys that I'm not putting up fake bullshit. I'm being real and I'm being honest. Even if it looks bad, I'm still going to put it up. But I'll correct the record if I'm wrong. And I was wrong. So I'm now going to continue to correct the record. Because I'm sure there was a lot of stuff in here that I completely missed. Because I was thrown off by the title. So let's get right on into this thing. Again. <laughs> Chances are you feel the same way I do. I think some of it I, I definitely will this time. Let's get right on into it. Let's go. I love high gas prices. I love paying more for groceries. And I really love seeing taxes rise. It's so good knowing that I'm giving more but receiving less. It makes me feel humble. But I'm going to stop with the sarcasm right there. Because I swear we're living in a real jungle. It's what? Pretty simple to me though, it's way past being left or right Just use your head and common sense and think about how you've been affected in daily life Is it easier or is it harder? That's the most important question you should think of first Cause life I do agree with that, it's bigger than being left or right That is 100% true This whole thing of left versus right is wrong it just is. We don't need to be fighting with each other all the time. So that is true. Now, the thing with the prices rising. I didn't catch it before because I didn't think of it. But now I do. Now I, I think I might have an explanation for that. The stimulus checks that went out. The trillions and trillions of money that the government has spent it, it could be due to that it could be you know that could be the cause if that's the case then it's not on Biden it's not on Trump it's on what we were dealing with you know so blame it on that If that's really what's going on. But it makes sense to me. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it doesn't suck. Because it definitely does. Everybody I know. Is complaining about gas prices. Cigarette prices. Everything's going up. And to me. You know. Thinking about all the money the government spent you know they, they gotta recoup it somehow I think you know it just sucks that they're taking it out of you know the taxpayers again they're the backbone of our country they're the ones that's been keeping us going So that sucks. Absolutely agree with you. That sucks. I'm just trying to, you know, explain that I think that there is a good reason for it, but it still sucks. It does. 
is a bitch already as it is And you don't need someone that's gonna make it worse Ask me? Huh, I think we're fucked Don't give me that look, everything sucks Have you gone outside? Have you been to the store? Have you compared the prices to a year before? Do you drive a car? Have you pumped gas? Don't lie to me now, it sucks ass You could brush it off like it's a fucking joke But the media lies, numbers don't Well, you can't blame Biden, it isn't him Well, who the fuck is it then? What jacked up the prices? I wanna know why I spend so much up at Conoco I don't know I think it's insane that the leader of the country gets no blame Cause the whole entire time, the last four years, it was cheap as fuck I'm just saying, now watch Down in the comment section, someone's gonna give us an economy lesson I can't wait to hear your expert analysis on fluctuation and how expenses balance hey, it's all a part of the process What the hell you bitching for? It's fine Oh yeah, I forgot about the 16 cents that I saved on hot dogs for 4th of July What a fucking steal Too bad I spent more on gas just to get the target So by the time I got done buying all this shit and filling up my car I had way less than when I started Now, I don't really call that saving No, I call that losing money It doesn't take a genius to do simple math But apparently you can't, so who's the dummy? Probably still me I'm just pissed off this inflation's fucked up But I gotta sit here and act like I love this administration with a thumbs up? Stupid Everything is hell but you act like I'm supposed to No No, you don't You don't That's the thing about it When there's something That we don't like We have the right to voice our opinions That is in our constitution It's the first amendment the freedom of speech. Samson, you got the right to voice your opinion. You don't like this administration. That's totally fine. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. I don't like the fact that they're not respecting our First Amendment. I don't like that. You know, I don't like some other stuff but we'll get to that when he gets to Afghanistan because you guys did explain to me that this part right here is about Biden the next section is about Afghanistan so I'll talk about Afghanistan when he gets to it there's some stuff I'm going to say about that too let's go with Samson I, hey, I'm starting to like this guy y'all especially since y'all told me that he really doesn't talk about race. You know? And I think that's so cool. Why do we always have to go to racism? I only go to it when I think that's what the story is about. Or that that's what someone has done. They persecuted someone because of their race. That's when I'll talk about it. Or when somebody else says, oh, this is racism, then I'll talk about it and I'll address it. Could it be racism? Could it not be? But I'm just saying, it's not me. I'm not the one who's always talking about it because I'm trying to make things about race. If it is about race, then I'm going to call it racism. That's a simple fact. But I'm not trying to make everything about race. If it's not racism, I'm not going to call it racism. It's as simple as that. You know? But of course on here, I was just wrong. Nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. The important thing is knowing how to say, you know, I was wrong and now I'm fixing it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving him a proper chance to explain everything that he wants me to take in and understand. That's what I'm doing now. Let's go with Samson. Be in heaven. You know our country ain't doing too good when the Waffle House start to close at 11. Dude, he can barely talk. I'm That's true. Even Walmart closes at 11. Freaking Walmarts, pretty much all of them. Used to be 24 hours. You know, if you could, at 3 o'clock in the morning, you could go to Walmart and go in there and shop and not have hardly anybody in there. That was the best time to go shopping. Because I don't like being around people. <laughs> you know, I can't do that no more. 
this is crazy. It really is, y'all. Ain't no doubt about that. You know? All right. Let's keep going. Being overzealous. Every time the man speaks, I have no fucking clue what he's trying to tell us. Nope. Every speech is like a gag reel. Every time I see the shit, I'm like, is that real? Well, considering the fact that the only other option was Trump, I don't think it's such a bad deal. <laughs> Fuck that. I want a strong leader. The strength of a man should be constantly tested, especially when you're in the most powerful position in the world. That should be not even a question. Uh -huh. There's really not enough for us. Now look. When I see Trump, I don't see a strong leader. But, if you guys find some clips, find something directly from him that's going to show me a strong leader, then I'll take a look at it. It's as simple as that. I'm not saying he's wrong. I know biased media exists. But getting around that and finding out what is biased and what's being real and authentic, that's the question. That's what is hard to do, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn, okay, what information is right and what information is wrong. So I'm trying to look at everything, but I'm only one person. I can't see everything there is to see. So I could really use you guys to, you know, go through and look and find information that would help direct my searches. As far as Trump goes, you know, you guys like him for a reason, obviously. That's what I want to know. Where's all the stuff that makes him a strong leader? All right, let's keep going. When you're in the most powerful position in the world, that should be not even a question. Uh -huh. There's really not enough words that can describe the craziness we're facing, dude. But the crazier part is there's still people you need to sit down and really explain this to. Come on, man. Just watch a press conference. You'll see that Joe is all gone. He literally says out loud that he has a list of people he's supposed to call on. And even then, he fucks that up. The whole <laughs> Now, look. I gotta tell y'all something. I don't disagree with him on this. I saw Joe Biden say he likes kids better than people. Like, why would he say that? Why is he fondling on all the little girls? Why does it, in all those clips, None of the parents or anybody else step in and say, Hey, Joe, can you stop touching all the kids, please? <laughs> Why can't they do that? Why's his hand got to go right on a little girl's chest? It's bizarre. He does it in front of everybody like it's nothing. I don't get it. The whole thing is hella awkward. COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy. What is it? It's the goddamn teleprompter. It feels like we don't even have a leader. Nope. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rule. Now look, I thought Joe Biden did good in the debates. He did a lot better than Trump. To me, Trump was basically, you know, trying to bully his way through it. That was it. He was just interrupting, being an ass. And then meanwhile, Biden was trying to actually give good information. Okay. But if you guys want, I will rewatch. All the debates, Kamala Harris, Pence, Trump, and Biden, I'll watch all of them and go through them a little bit at a time. And then I will give the best interpretation I can. You know, I will try to remove all my biased opinions as I'm going through them 
and judge it based on the facts. That's what I'll try to do. If you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. If you guys want me to go back and continue looking at Trump versus Hillary debates, I'll do that too. Thing is hella awkward. COVID-19 ain't his biggest enemy. It's the goddamn teleprompter. It feels like we don't even have a leader. It's like we're all just following blindly. Each of my grandparents could run circles around him in a debate and they're almost 90. Look at him. Don't take it from me. Go listen to him. It's not a rumor. You gotta, I mean, the... T -t 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 Today, Junior! Jesus Christ, go on YouTube and click any video of Joe Biden and check out the like and the dislike ratios. That should prove to you that no one likes him. I don't agree with anything he's done. His decisions affect me in many ways. If it was up to me, I'd rather have mean tweets and cheap gas any day. Now look. For me, the mean tweets... The, you know, just the hostile behavior that he had pretty much all the time is one of the biggest reasons that threw me off about him. It was always pointing the finger at somebody. Somebody's a douchebag. Somebody's an asshole. Somebody's a fat pig. You know, I'm talking about Rosie O'Donnell. I don't know what was going on with that. The only thing I know is what I wanted to hear from him, I never got. All right, I'm going to explain it like this. I love Warframe. Now, sometimes the developers of Warframe will go live and then they'll talk about updates, what's coming, what's getting fixed possibly, what, the, what kind of plans they have, you know, hints about when updates are coming, that kind of stuff. You know, they'll even show animations for new stuff that's coming. You know, now what if... The developers, when every time they did live streams, they didn't talk about Warframe at all. They only talked about stuff that they hate. You know? Like, calling people douchebags and, and this and that. What if they did that? What if they never said anything useful? About the game, about what's coming, about what's getting fixed, about what's possibly broken. What if they did that? I wouldn't watch them. I'd be like, there's no reason for me to watch this crap. That's what I get from Trump, you guys. It's not that people told me not to like him, it's that I don't like him. Now, maybe I didn't watch the right stuff. I don't know. The only thing I'm saying is... For what I've seen from him, and I've seen quite a bit, I was not impressed. I could say the same thing for just about everybody else. So, it's not like I'm playing favorites. Not like I'm saying Joe Biden's the best president we ever had. Because <laughs> that's not the case either. All right, guys, so here's my thing about Afghanistan. I absolutely agree with him on this, 110%. It was the right thing to pull out of Afghanistan. It was the wrong thing to do. The strategy that we had was wrong. What he did was playing checkers and moving all his pieces all the way out without having any strategy whatsoever. What we should have been doing was playing chess and using and thinking 10 moves ahead. That's what we should have been doing. 
We should have gotten all our military equipment out and took all the weapons with us. All of them. We should have left nothing for them to use against us. We could then roll in with RC equipment. And yes, they have that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all some of that. And then you guys will see we have options. It's not like, you know, there's nothing we can do about it without losing a whole bunch of soldiers. That's not the case. We have some amazing military equipment. Now, the way we did it, though, is going to make our job a lot harder if we have to do that. But a message to Afghanistan, just be happy with what you got. You know, don't mess it up with your arbitrary laws. Don't be so cruel to your people. And maybe the rest of the world won't freaking bother you. Of course, I know y'all was lying when y'all said, oh, this is a new Taliban, or whatever it was. Oh, this is a new thing. No, come on. Stop being so horrible. That's why the rest of the world was messing with you guys. So, there's that. So let's get right on into this part. I don't like Biden. What good's he done for us? I think Afghanistan pretty much sums it up. What a dumb adult. My stomach does somersaults when I think about those 13 soldiers that were killed the fucking gall. Then he goes to the service and keeps checking his watch like he has somewhere better to be. I, I want to see that. Now look, I didn't see that, but I want to. So I think this is going to be part of a series. Everything that he's talked about, I will eventually come back with more videos. If I can see him checking his watch when they were talking about the 13 soldiers that were killed. Yeah, that's going to go on this channel if you guys can find it. If you guys find it, I'll put it up. And I won't be happy about seeing him do that. Just so y'all know. <laughs> Where the disrespect doesn't stop. Pick your fucking head up. Look at the women and men you killed. I don't understand how anyone could even defend you still. And if they do, they either don't know I what don't. they're talking about or they're lying to themselves because they know damn well you're a problem now. Pulling out was a good choice. Not the way you did it though. Kamala's probably sitting there like, oh my god, we did it, Joe. Speaking of her, where's she been through all these deadly days? As soon as shit erupts and hits the fan, Kamala's MIA. Not like she does anything anyway. So fucking useless. Law and order, crisis at the border. She don't fucking do shit. Just a talking head, paired up with the walking dead. Breaking absolutely every word that was promised or said. Every time I see their faces on TV, it's such a bummer. I feel like I'm watching the third installment of Dumb and Dumber. And on top of all that, they put another ban on ammo, trying to disarm a Americans but equip the Taliban like Rambo you give them hundreds of trying to equip the Taliban like Rambo they didn't try they did Samson that's exactly what they did you know that, that's so crazy and what gets me the downright disrespect of our taxpayers who paid for all that shit. The taxpayers have been paying for that shit for years. Literally years and we just left it.
So in that case, taxpayers doesn't owe the government. The government owes the fucking taxpayers because the taxpayers ended up giving money to the fucking Taliban. What kind of bullshit? And then, there was a statement he made that the Taliban fell faster than we thought it would. So he knew it was going to fall. He knew they didn't have a chance. How could it take 20 years and not have a clue that we were wasting time over there? I tell you what, I'm kind of thinking maybe they ran out of oil. That's what I think it could be. You know, the oil dried up and then they're like, nothing, no reason for us to be here anymore. We could have been pumping oil out of there for years. Who, who knows? Only the soldiers would know. But are they allowed to tell us? That's the question. You know, I don't know anything about how the military works. If they have, you know, the ability to tell them you can't say this, this or that, which that would be wrong because that would affect freedom of speech. The soldiers should be able to tell us anything they want. That's the way I see it. All right, let's keep going. Thousands of military guns, but Americans just trying to protect their families are the scary ones. You put more trust in a terrorist organization than you do in your own people. You don't care about this nation. Fuck you. That's from me. Fuck you. That's from them. Fuck you from everyone that's still stuck in Afghanistan. Fuck you from the men. Mm. Yes. Absolutely. For me, the whole thing with Afghanistan was a terrible, terrible thing. None of our allies should have been left over there. None. How hard would it have been to pull everything out. Our allies. Our equipment. Our military. Without the Taliban knowing what was going on. It wouldn't have been that hard I would think. But we should have at least tried. To do it the right way. You know. To get everybody out who wanted to go. Why not do that? You know, we could have brought in ships to take all those people out. And we could have went over there and bombed the shit out of them. You know, we could have got all the innocent people out of there. And they'd go in and start wrecking some shit. That's what I would have done. You know, I think right now, the freaking Taliban over there is one of the biggest problems we got in the world right now. And we just made them stronger than they already was. How many damn people does the Taliban got? I always thought it was a pretty small group of people. This must be a lot of freaking people. I had no idea about that, y'all. You know, that these uh, terrorists were so big in numbers. You know, I thought maybe it was like a few thousand or something. 
you know, a good sized group, but not like 50,000 or nothing like that. It must be like 50,000 freaking people. Y'all tell me if y'all know. That's crazy. Women who died for this country and fuck you for every time you lie to cover up something. You blame this on Trump. How the fuck is this even his fault? You're in charge now, not him. That's just your default. Whenever something goes wrong, you flip and say he did it. But whenever something goes right, you're quick to take the credit. You undid almost all of Trump's agreements by your second day. So why is this one of the only fucking things you left in place? No crosses to bear, no responsibilities. Just chocolate, chocolate chip to ease your mental instability. I would say the blood's on your hands. But that's a lie Because you don't even know Where the fuck you are Half the time Now look To all of our men and women Who has ever fought for our country I want to say Thank you for your service I also want to say to the soldiers who died over there, to our allies that died over there, I want to say for that, we're sorry. We're sorry that our leaders let y'all down. And to the families of those soldiers and those allies that died over there. To you, I want to say we're sorry. Because again, our leaders let y'all down. Our leaders did not serve and protect like we should have. That's what they did. And I think it's time for somebody to at least say that we're sorry. Does it make up for it? Does it make it right? But at least it's something. Now look, I like this way better than I did the first time. You know, and actually, I'm glad a lot of you guys jumped on my back about it. Because it made me realize, you know what? It's time I go back through it and do a proper reaction to it. I'm still leaving the first one up because, like I said, that's being authentic. You know? It shows that I could admit that I was wrong. And I can also correct the record when I'm wrong. Hopefully that's what I've just done. All right, Samson. You did a good job on this. This was a badass video. Everything was straight to the point. Everything was clear and legible. It was great. Great video. All right. I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, I'm out.